So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 90 of our Portsmouth career mode and we are going to be kicking off this episode with a game up against Basel and it will be our first game in the Champions League group stage so we will be taking them on away from home and it will be a difficult tie we are going to be playing in our white kit actually because we want to try and make sure the kits do not clash so the starting lineup in this one up top, we've got Amana and Lotin. We've got Dembele on the right. We've got Sifuentes at Cam. And we've got Azevedo on the left. Then we've got Stavans at CDM. And we have Josh Vela, Dennis, Van Jongelen and De Franchi. And of course, we have Archie Bell in goal. We're not 100% sure whether we are going to reinstate Dembele into our first team lineup and drop maybe a Bolo to the bench. But. Mbolo's playing well. Dembele, we haven't really had a good look at yet. So we're going to put him in the second team lineup to see how he gets on. And if he gets on well, he probably will go into the first team. So we've got the ball with Osama Dembele. He does well to take on his man. Obviously, no one's going to catch him as he does well. Cuts back inside with the scoop turn. Dembele's going to go all the way as he's going to wait for the overlapping run of Stavance. We do find him. Stavance through to Lotin. Lotin around the corner to Hugo Azevedo. And we just couldn't quite get there. The ball through to Lotin. Lotin around the corner to Osama Dembele. Osama Dembele does well. Cuts back inside and wins ourselves a corner kick. So from the corner kick, we're going to try something different. Lotin's going to take the short corner to Hugo. Hugo puts a good ball in the box. Can we win that one at the far post with Amana? We can. But Amana's shot is very poor. But it comes out to as far as Savant. He goes for the long range effort. But it's very poor and straight into the grasp of the goalkeeper. Hugo with a lovely ball around the corner to Dembele. Dembele's got plenty of pace. Can he get past his man into the penalty area? He does do with a lovely skill move. He goes for goal and he scored a fantastic one as well. What a fantastic goal that was from Osama Dembele, our new signing. And he's already off the mark on his first start. 24 minutes in. Lovely Berber spin inside. Takes on two people. Gets a little bit of luck. But then that's a fantastic strike into the far corner. We have taken the lead away from home in our first Champions League game so Lotin with the ball through to Hugo. Hugo can see the ball over the top to Osama, but Osama isn't going to get there. It wasn't the best of balls from Hugo, to be honest. I would have thought he should have played a better one over the top, but we're doing very well in this game, to be honest. Um, Basel are really not offering much up top at all, but Dembele cuts back inside and he actually loses it. It was a point with a simple pass, but we win it back there. We Oh, Stavance, he won it back, and I think Tito Sifuentes has got in his way. Lovely chance for us to play the ball through to Tito Sifuentes. The worst probably player we could have played it through to. He's probably the slowest one. Oh, I am wondering why Josh Fellow is running away from the ball there. But a little bit disappointing that the only player up the pitch was Tito Sifuentes. Because if it was Osama Dembele, maybe Lotin, maybe um, Amana, we would have a little bit more pace to charge at the defenders. But... A little bit disappointing it wasn't him, but we've still got a good chance. The second half as Lotin wins the ball back. Can Lotin go all the way? He can. Lotin with a good chance. He goes for goal. It's a good save from the goalkeeper, though. Decent chance of Basel down the left-hand side. They've got plenty of room. Can we stop the cross from coming in? We can. And we play the ball out with Hugo here. Hugo through to Amana. Amana around the corner to Lotin. Lotin's waiting for the run of Amana. Can he squeeze it through to him? Can Amana get onto the end of that? Oh, nearly. Low piece of play from Hugo. He's played ball through to Lotin. Lotin out wide to Dembele. Dembele lovely cut back inside. He goes for the far post. But he just gets it a little bit wrong. Good chance for Basel once again. They are starting to threaten in the second half. They play the ball to the far post. Oh, that was not far away. Oh, dearie me. What have they done? They've given the ball away. Lotin's got fantastic chance. He squares the ball to Connor Chaplin. Oh, my God. Connor Chaplin. Connor Chaplin's missed an absolute city. He's only just come on the pitch. And he's missed already. Lotin's not happy with him. He set him up. Lotin could have taken on the shot himself. And Chaplin's missed. Good ball around the corner to Dembele though. Dembele through to Lotin. Lotin first time chance. Good save from the goalkeeper. Comes to Chaplin. And he's missed it again. It comes to Hugo this time. Hugo to go for the far corner. Chaplin, how many chances are you going to have? He's done it now. He's done it. Connor Chaplin. He has just come on the pitch. He's had two fantastic chances and he missed both of them. And now he goes ahead and scores a header. Asama Dembele, what a cross that is. And what a header as well from Connor Chaplin towering above his defender and glazing it into the far corner of the net. Connor Chaplin has scored his first goal since his return and what a way to do it. Fantastic goal, Connor. Get in. Basel with a decent chance though. They've got a really good chance on the left-hand side. They play the ball into the centre and Archie Bell has a simple save in the end but we've got the ball with Connor Chaplin. He plays the ball around the corner to Hugo Azevedo. Now we've got the chance. Hugo plays the ball out wide to Lotin. Lotin's one on with the goalkeeper. Can he find the back of the net? You bet he can. We've taken the lead. 3-0 
up away from home in the Champions League. What a way to mark your debut in the Champions League. What a fantastic breakaway it was. Archie Bell, the simple save, throws the ball out down the left-hand side through to Hugo Azevedo. He offloads it and that's a very good finish from Mbat Lotin into the back of the net. Three goals to nil away from home in the Champions Cup. It couldn't have got any better. So there we go, the final whistle blows and we come out very victorious. Winners, fantastic result for us away from home. And we've just completely dominated. Hugo Azevedo picking up a 9.5 rating, but I thought everyone played well. Sama Dembele, 9. Conor Chaplin picks up a 9 as well. Stavant, 8.2. Um, I just thought we were good all around the park. And having a look as well there, we had 15 shots and 10 on target. That's how dominant we were in the 90-minute period. So it's now time for the second game of the episode as we will be taking on Liverpool at Anfield. Our first team lineup is back and it does look extremely strong. I'm really looking forward to this because I do believe we can pick up a good result. Play up, Pompey. So good ball around the corner to Brill Imbolo. Imbolo is going to try and take on Alberto Moreno. Lovely double step over from Imbolo. Does well to cut back inside. Plays the ball to Sefian Buffal. What a fake shot that is. Buffal goes for goal and it hits the back of Emre Moore. But just look how well we are gelling at the start of this season. Imbolo tries the skill move, but we actually get it a little bit wrong. But they're giving the ball away. We try and squeeze it through to Emre, but it just can't quite get through. And to be honest, guys, I've never had so much fun playing with a squad on any of the FIFAs and this squad that we've assembled here is just trust me guys it is a pleasure to play with good chance for Liverpool there they go for goal Whew. he puts it wide of the post thank god for that Emre Moore, what a ball that is over the top to Yannick Carrasco. Carrasco to cut back inside. Can he take on his man? He does do. Carrasco to go for the far corner is a good block from the Liverpool defenders and Yannick Carrasco he, he has scored hasn't he? But he's, to be honest, considering he's the highest rated player, he's not been performing as good as we would have liked. But of course we're going to keep him for the time being. But if he doesn't improve, we might look at maybe selling him on in January and bringing in another world-class player. What a ball that is through to Mbolo. Mbolo's going to try and take on Alberto Moreno. Mbolo's got a good chance. He goes for the shot across the face of the goal, but he just shanks it a little bit and puts it too wide. But a lovely breakaway from the men in blue. The ball through to Emre Moore. Emre Moore through to Gabriel. Can Gabriel get on to the end of that? What a ball that was. Gabriel's first shot was saved. And now Gabi Goal has scored the other one. Gabriel Barbosa is playing some fantastic football as well. As we're going to try and get over to the bench. Are we going to get there? Yes, we are. No, we're not. It won't allow us to get there. But Gabriel Barbosa at least celebrating in front of the bench anyway, as everyone is coming over to celebrate with him. We take the lead at Anfield. What a ball that is from Emre Moore. Inch perfect. It's a good save from Carriers, but we get lucky with a rebound. It falls straight back to Gabriel Barbosa, and that's a good finish into the back of the net. He scored two goals already. Yannick Kraska wins the ball back for us, so he plays the ball through to Emre Moore. Emre Moore goes for goal from range, but it gets deflected up and over the crossbar. We're going to try and take the short corner to Sefian Buffal. He's going to try and get it over his man. Oh, he tried to reverse Elastico, but Renato Sanchez managed to read it. Sefian Bouf fouls on the ball though. He squeezes it through to Yannick Carrasco. Carrasco is going to try and take on John Flanagan. He goes one way. Scoop turns back inside. Yannick Carrasco to go all the way as he plays the ball back to Claire Menezes. Menezes back to Yannick. Yannick strikes it from a tight angle, but it gets blocked as he plays the ball back inside to Javier Manquillo through to Claire Menezes again. Menezes through to Emre Moore. Emre Moore out wide to Henrich. Henrich is going to try and put the ball into the box. It's a good ball in. Carrius comes out. Gabby Goal wins it, but Carrius manages to pick up the missing pieces again and he's telling his team to calm down. They need to try and get a grip in the game because if we score another it's definitely going to be a game set and match the ball through to Emre again Emre fake shots past his man he's got a fantastic chance he goes for goal and once again a fantastic challenge but it comes back to Sefian Buffal and that's a really good save from Carriers again but to be honest guys Emre Moore, like I said, I must have said this many times, and you're probably fed up with me saying it, but Emre Moore is only 83 rated, yet he is an absolute beast of a player. I absolutely love him. Good ball through to Brill Imbolo. Imbolo's going to get there in front of Origi. Imbolo goes for goal, and that's it. We are now 2 0 up at Anfield. It looks like we are going to go on to win the game as well, because as you guys have probably noticed, we've completely dominated. That's a fantastic ball through to Brill Imbolo. He's trying to take on Origi. He does do with a pace and a good finish into the far corner, and they're still making me think who do we play? Imbolo or Dembele? I do not know. 
Good ball back inside to Emre Moore. Emre Moore through to Gabby Goal. Gabby Goal goes for goal. And what a save from Karius. We may have a good chance to counter-attack though. As we can see the ball over the top to Hugo. Azevedo has just come on the pitch. Hugo is going to charge through on goal. He's going to try and take on his man, which he does do. He offloads it through to Gabby. And Gabby, oh, come on, man. Good chance for Liverpool to play the ball into centre. Can we clear that one with Javier Manquillo? We can. As Claire Benez plays the ball to Dembele. Dembele through to Gabriel. Gabriel is going to try and get there. Oh, if he could got there, we may have been able to play the ball through to Connor. But we win the ball back now. And now we do have the chance with Mbolo. Mbolo charging down the left-hand side. Trying to take on Lovren as he plays the ball back inside. Oh, we've lost it. But he tries to play the ball back inside. Comes back to Gabby. Goal. And his shot is blocked again. But... We've only gone and done it. Reese Oxford, the one of only people, our captain, has gone up, rose highest and headed that one into the far corner of the net. And guys, we beat Basel 3-0. We've now beaten Liverpool 3-0. It must be something. This could be our year. What a header that is from Reese Oxford into the far corner. And also, guys, what's happening? We never scored headers before. And this season, we're just scoring so many. So, the boos are ringing round at Anfield. They're not happy with their team. And we've just dominated again. Just looking at the stats, we had 18 shots. And 13 of them shots were on target compared to Liverpool's two. I don't know why we're dominating so much. We're just in inspired form. So guys, the next game of this episode we are not going to play. It is going to be in the EFL Cup. It's going to be away from home against Ipswich. And I'm not sure whether we're going to win it, but we should do. We've got a second team line out and we've got an 87 rated player in there. We've got two 84s so we, and we've got an eight, three 84s with the goalkeeper included. And we're 1-0 down. Oh, thank God for that. We come back. Vela scores in the 39th minute and then Vic Van Jongelen scores in the 52nd. We're through to the next round. So it's now time for the third and final game of this episode as we will be taking on Middlesbrough and we will be taking them on at Fratton Park. So let's see how we can go. And we are going to go with our second team line out. No, we're not. We're going to go with our first team lineup because we want our second team lineup available for Benfica. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but I do believe our second team lineup is good enough to win the game. So Sefian Bufal skips past one. He's going to try and get past his other man with a skill move. He's going to try and play the ball back into the centre, or as he does do, plays the ball to Emre Moore. Emre Moore out wide to uh, Gabby Goal. Gabby Goal takes it around his man, and we're 1 0 up already. Gabriel Barbosa has found the back of the net again. And I'm so pleased that we did actually make this sign. I know M. Bayern was playing some good football and he was also scoring the goals. But guys, he was going to be out of action for seven months. So we decided to basically swap him plus 15 million for this 87 rated striker. Only 23 years of age and he's already finding the back of the net. What a goal that was. Five minutes in, we're already 1-0 up. Good ball through to Emre Moore down this left-hand side. He does well to cut back inside as he offloads the ball to Sefian Bufal. And he tries to fake shot past this man. We get the fake shot wrong, but the referee has somehow awarded us a free kick. So, from here, we're going to try and strike it. Can Emre hit that with some pace and get it up and over the wall? He strikes it and he gets it a little bit too high and a little bit too wide. Not the best from Emre. So, Emre Moore through to Sefian Bufal. Bufal out wide to Yannick Carrasco. Carrasco with a lovely chance. Cuts back inside. He's going to go for goal. It's a good save from the goalkeeper, Good chance for Middlesbrough. Adama's got the ball. Can we get the ball clear with Javier Manquillo? We can. We play the ball to Sefian Bufal and we win the ball back here. Can we go on the break actually? As Emre Moore plays the ball over the top to uh, Mbolo. Mbolo through the gap to Gabby Goal. Gabby Goal's got a fantastic chance. He plays the ball through to Bufal. Bufal through on the corner. Oh, it was just one last pass and the last pass we failed on. So Emre Moore's on the ball. Emre through to Mbolo. Mbolo's got a chance down the left-hand left side. Can he cut back inside? He can do. He gets past his man. But the defender was there to cover. We've still got the ball. Claire Menezes. Menezes through to Gabi Gol. Gabi Gol around the corner to Yannick Carrasco. Carrasco cuts back inside. Plays the ball back inside to Sofian Bufal. But the ball doesn't quite get through to him. Can we launch one last attack before the halftime break and try and go in with a little bit more breathing space? We play the ball back through to Sofian Bufal. He takes it around his man. Sofian's going to strike it from range. He gets a good block on it. And we've got the corner kick. So from the corner kick, we're going to try and whip it in with some pace. It's a good ball in the centre. Can we win that one in the air? We can't. But it's going to come out wide to Henrich. Henrich wins that. He plays the ball to Javier Manquillo and we were going to try a strike from range but the referee decides to halt the first half and we go into the halftime break with a 1-0 advantage. Good ball through. They've got fantastic chance. Johnson goes for goal and he's hit the top of the crossbar. We get let off because Johnson for them, their number nine, has a fantastic chance but he fails to hit the target. He beat the goalkeeper but also beat the post. Lucky let off for us. Ball through to Gabby Gold. Gabby Gold back through to Emre Moore. Emre Moore roulettes past his man. Can he beat his man for pace? It looks like he can. He's going to cut back inside with a scoop turn. Lovely piece of play as he offloads the ball to Sofian Bufal and he gets blocked. But it comes back to Mbolo. Mbolo to strike it. And we just cannot seem to get that goal. 
well, but we've still got the ball. Well, have we? No, we haven't. They've got it clear, but we're still looking for that second goal to give us a little bit more of a cushion. Uh, we've got the ball with Gabi goal. Gabi goal around the corner to Brill Imbolo. Imbolo's going to try and cut back inside, which he does do. Imbolo to go all the way. He strikes it, and it gets a slightest of touches, and it goes out wide for a corner. So he may have taken the early lead, but since then, we're struggling to find the back of the net. Win the ball back with Gabi goal. Gabi goal around the corner, through to Imbolo. Surely... We've missed again. So Gabriel through the corner, through to Dembele. Dembele's got a fantastic chance. And that is a humongous finish into the top corner. And just as we're thinking, Mbolo's the person to play as a starter. We think maybe not. It's got to be Dembele. What a ball this was, though, through from Gabriel. Gabriel through to Dembele. And that's a fantastic first touch and an even better finish. Dembele has scored yet another goal. What a goal it was. And it's actually his first in the Premier League. The other one come in the Champions Cup. To Emre Moore. Emre Moore through the gap to Connor Chaplin. Connor Chaplin with a good chance, though. He's going to cut back inside. He plays the ball over to Mbolo. Mbolo back inside to Gabriel Barbosa. Barbosa is going to try and find the ball over the top to Henrich. Henrich gets there. Can he play the ball inside? Oh, he's actually offside. No wonder why he stopped his run. I thought, why on earth are you taking so long to play a bloody pass? And the reason being because he was actually offside. But it looks like the referee is going to blow the full-time whistle now. And we are going to pick up all three points and a very convincing victory. We should have probably scored a few more goals than we actually did in that game. A little disappointing we didn't. But maybe they've got a good chance in the consolation. They play the ball into the far post. Can Mankio win that? And that's the difference from this season to last season. Mankio before wouldn't win anything in the air. Now he does. The referee brings the game to to a halt and we have won 3-0, 3-0 and now 2-0. We haven't conceded a goal in this episode. I thought we played astonishing this episode and I don't know when it's going to stop because we've been in inspired form. We're yet to lose and we're yet to draw. We've been on a winning streak right from the word go. However, guys, that will in fact be it for this episode of Career Mode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is going to be very much appreciated. And don't forget, if you're around here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos and career modes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Yeah.